silent now, we don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes. Yes, I got a haircut. <laughs> but that's um that's because uh it's summer in Sydney. It's supposed to be actually, it looks like terrible weather outside. But no, hello everyone, it is Tiff Twinkle back with a video. Yes. I finally got all my PAX vlogs up. I, so, I'm sorry that I took so long with it. Um, there were a few complications. I don't know if you saw, uh, I think it was like day two or three. Um, there's a disclaimer in the video. So I do apologize that it took a little bit longer to get all the videos out. It was not anything in my control. So we were just doing our best with what we were given. So I do apologize for that, but I am back with making more content now. Now that I'm done with convention season, I'm done with cosplay for the year, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. So, it's an unboxing, but I basically went to a regular choice when I was in Melbourne because I was after something and then I ended up with something else which suited my aesthetic a little bit more than uh, what I was hoping for. But I will probably get those other shoes later at some point, depending if I can find them or not. Um, but, I actually just wanted to do this video in a different manner. I have a, I have a special guest who, they're a good friend of mine and um, actually bought some, something at Irregular Choice as well. So this is gonna be a dual unboxing. We're gonna be showing both of our shoes because yeah, I kind of convinced them to buy some stuff, maybe. But I've never had them on my channel before. So I'd like to say welcome to Performing Tarts, who's right here with me. Hello. This is the first time you're actually on my channel, I think, from memory. Like, in terms of doing this style. Technically, I've, we've taken photos, so I'm we've taken your... We've taken photos. photos. You were in the vlogs. Yeah. But not like this, where I've gotten to sit down with you and we actually do something together. Because, fun fact, Lauren is just like me. We both love our aesthetics and our fashions, uh, and our fashion and our shopping spree and that. We pretty much buy from the same shops, almost. Um... I think, yeah, no, no, we do actually buy from the same shops, like Black Milk, Living, um, Living Loot and all yep. that sort of stuff. We buy from literally the same places. So it was fun for me when I had my box that Performing Tarts also has mm -hmm. their box as well. Um, yeah, so as I said, we're going to do a dual unboxing. So we're going to unbox one at a time and we're going to have a look at them and talk about why we buy from a regular choice and that. Well. This is your first purchase from Regular? Yeah. I have been looking at sh their shoes for literal years and I finally got my pair and it was one that I was like, oh, actually I wouldn't mind these ones. Yeah, no, literally, literally when we were at the shop. Um, so for those that don't know, I we went to the Regular Choice shop in Melbourne uh, uh, on Chapel Street. I just want to give a shout out to the, to the lovely people there that served us and put up with all of our shenanigans in the day. We did buy stuff though, so that was kind of a bonus, like, but no, seriously, it was, it was such a fun day with all of our friends and that there. And we, as we said, we bought some really cute shoes. I didn't get what I wanted originally, but I did end up getting something, so I'm not too mad. You got something. And also, who, my, who my else got something? partner Sierra got something, and then our friend uh, Ren. Ren got something. Yeah, because um, we, were, we were hoping that our friend Monica would get something, but unfortunately they didn't have anything that suit their aesthetic and fit as well. Yeah, yeah. that was the main thing. That was the main thing, but it's fine. We had fun. We honestly had yeah. fun. It was um, fun hanging out and like actually or everyone trying shoes and hyping each other up like oh yeah no you being the devil on my shoulder get it get it you know you want it <laughs> maybe maybe no but seriously no shopping at a regular choice is such a fun experience so let's open your one first we're gonna do your one because you've never done this you've never done had an irregular choice unboxing because I'm not gonna lie, like we, we've shopped at like Shumi and all that we bought like Demonia's Killstar and all that sort of stuff <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> they're wearing the same audience as me that I've got. Um, no, they're wearing the Camel 203s in pink. But yeah, no, like, 
this is no shame to Demonia's packaging or anything. Your packaging's okay. Um, your boxes are a little bit questionable sometimes because, like, they've re- when I've received some of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's obviously neither here nor there. We're not dissing you, Demonia. We still buy plenty of Demonias in the long run. But you have never bought Irregular Choice before. No. So this is going to be an experience for you because there's just something about it, which mm. I want you to experience it now. So... Your pair is actually a gorgeous pair. I think it was part of the bridal collection. Yeah, it's a part of the bridal collection, but like, YOLO. YOLO. I'll, I'll be a bride one day. I'm going to marry my wife one day. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But no, like their box and their aesthetic, like, because right, they... actual. And the art of it is so pretty. Like... And, you, and you know what I like about it um, is the fact that... The boxes change depending on what it is. So yeah, I noticed that. I've got so I've got my Disney shoes that are up there. I've got um, what is it? My little twin size um, Sanrio collab one. Mm. They all have the similar aesthetic based on what that shoe is or that collection. So with the Disney princesses, it was like the Disney castle and that sort mm. of stuff. Like the artwork was very. Um, Aesthetic. Actually, wait, hang on. Yeah, go and get them. Where's the box? I have two boxes, everyone. I'm back from getting these. So, these are what some of the boxes are like. They have the actual uh, collaboration on them. So, some of the regular pairs, they just do this style or okay. the style that I've got, which you'll see in a minute. So, the best part about this, if I'm remembering correctly on the bottom of the shoe, it's actually this design. Yes. Correct. Which I really like. My one thing though is that it doesn't have any grip on the bottom, but that's... You get, you can buy yeah, the Yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning of uh, going and getting is some grip on the bottom so I can actually wear these out. Yeah, no, like literally... That, to my feet. That's like me, if I wear my irregular choice in that out, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I have grip right. on the bottom of it. Alright, so, without further ado, let's have a look at your pair, and then we will look at my pair in a second, um, once we've unboxed yours, because... Not gonna lie, I have two of these boxes because I've got yeah, you've yeah I've got two, yeah I've got two of this box because I bought uh, it's a it's a shoe called the Nick uh, a Nick of Time and I've yeah. got they're up there right now on in that corner there they are the white and the and the I think it's like a purpley blue color but it's also black on the outside and it's got glitter yeah, on it yeah, it's yeah, so know. nice. Um, so I have this box, like I have this actual box, um, but this is your first. <laughs> All right, let's get to unboxing this, these shoes because I want to see these because I only saw them briefly in Melbourne of what you purchased. I didn't actually see them in person because like we were all Sorry. doing our own thing basically. Yeah. I did try them on when I got home because I wanted to show like my parents as well. Like, ooh. I've tried them on once, like when I got home from PAX and that's, all I've done because I've been wanting to like keep them really nice. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. That's like me. Like that's why most of the time they're on my shelf because like I don't want to wear them out. Like yeah. I physically do not. Well, that and the only other pair that I won't wear out is my Little Mermaid heels. Let's get to unboxing these because what's the actual one? What are they called? I don't remember what they're actually called. I think it says it on the side, doesn't it? Or... It's on the other side. <laughs> Oh, they put it. <laughs> no, no, no! I probably put it in. Put oh it my in the god! Wrong way. God damn it! You had just... one job. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Unboxing experience. Watch, 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 watch. Wait, let's find out what the name was. Cozy quilt in blue. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. They are so gorgeous, though. They're sparkly and. I wanted Whoa. this pair for the longest period of time, but they never had my size. Because so I'm because I'm gonna have to because I'm gonna have to order them from the UK. I if don't I know if them. you remember, um, they were the last ones, like the very last ones I had in stock in the store, and it was in my size. Yeah, that was fate. That was amazing. I love that. That was so. F- that was such fate, though. Honestly. Get both of them out. Oh yes. Because uh, like, I've never seen these like actually in person, apart from the fact that they were there in the shop, and I briefly glanced over them, but. They're just so nice, mm. like they're. And I love the like custom packaging that's here as well. Oh yeah, that, that, that's like that with everything, every yeah. pair that I have. Like it's always like it's either the logo or it's something based on the character or something, yeah. or it is like to. So like my boots, for instance, it's to help support it. Um, 
But no, like, literally... Oh, yeah, even the inside of yeah, it. Yeah, in the, even the inside, it's, like, all cushioned and, like, it's got... I don't know if you can see it. It's got, like, rainbow on the inside. Hold it up to the camera. Uh, yeah. It'll focus, I hope. There, there. You can kind of see it. There we go. On the inside. Oh, it's, let's, I... let's do this. What are you doing? Oh. Get ta- so then we can actually see it. Properly. Oh, yes. But no, um, literally, I love the designs that they do for these like the inside and it, like it makes you feel like comfortable when you walk in mm. like even though yeah this is a bit of a high heel not gonna lie um it's like it's still nice enough that you know you're not gonna slip in that but also as we were talking before it's the same the sole is the same design as the the box itself so i'm um, gonna see if it'll focus there you go like it's so it's just, they're a work of art. Like, mm. I 100% always recommend to people if you want to, like, have a statement piece for a pair of shoes that's either Demonia's, YRU's, or um, Irregular Choice. Because, like, all I can think is how gorgeous, like, wedding photos. Like, imagine, like, a nice flower field and a dress where you can just see the shoes and all you see uh, is the little flowers. And then you got little flowers and, oh, imagine flowers in your bouquet. That would be. Honestly? Like, these are stunning. If I had the opportunity to get these in my size, I would 100% do. Yes. But, yeah, I would probably have to order them from the UK, maybe. Yeah, because there's two different versions in two different colours. There's a version where this is, I believe, velvet, and this is all glittery. Like, it's all yeah. swapped over. Yeah. And there is, like, a shorter heel if you don't want to be walking down the aisle with a massive ass heel. Yeah. No, Although, 100%. I don't think I'd walk down the aisle with these. I think these are more... Pretty photos, wedding photos. Over. I mean, look, if you feel comfortable in it, it's a different story. Yeah, yeah. that is definitely. But yeah. yeah. That's my only issue is the buckle's a little weird, but like, that's just because it's in the heart shaped buckle. Yeah, but it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, we it's don't, pretty. We don't deny that. As soon as it's on, it's staying on. It's just hard to get on, but that's about But that's yeah. That's my only thing with it. But yeah, no, 100%. These are just so stunning. <sighs> like, honestly, honestly, like. This is like one of their best designs that they've ever done in terms of like the chunky heel platform mm. as well. Not the stiletto point that um, there was one particular shoe had wings and that on it. I can't remember what the... I'll, I'll, I'll throw a photo up in the center here. Um, and it was like just the stiletto point. Mm. And I, I was so... I was worried that I was going to fall over in them. Because I tried them on once and yeah, no. They were, they were much more painful to walk in than pleasers, funnily enough. Okay. Okay. Although, um, what is it? I really like their wedges. Like, if I wasn't gonna get this, there was a wedge. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I I remember you showing me that. Yeah, no, their wedges are very easy. To yeah. Walk in. No, they and they're very nice. Like in the sense that they design like a nice prettiness with the wedge. Yeah. No, hundred percent. All right. Let's put these gently away because I don't want to get the glitter everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like right. literally, they're, they're, they're just so stunning, honestly. Cool. Well, actually, no, we'll keep one out so that we can compare it. Okay, so we'll, I'll keep this one out. Keep that one out. Okay. Because I'm going to do mine now. My box is slightly bigger, but that's because i got a giant foot. Um, now, I wanted the Loaf It Up. Um, like, uh, I think they're Mary Janes. I wanted those originally when I went down to Melbourne, but unfortunately... Um, they didn't have my size and I want I needed a 43 and they only had a 41. So the lovely people at a regular choice then recommended me these. But no. Oh, I forgot. Look at that. Ooh. I get I get the flower aesthetic. Oh, it looks like the, the what's the artist's name? That's got like the rainbow flower. Oh. Um it makes the plushies, the big pillows, and like everyone raved over it in like 20, 2020, something like that. It's like that Billie Eilish thing. Yeah. I can't remember. But that's, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's... See, this is why I love a regular choice. Just this alone. Like, it brings a customer in. Actually, wait, here's the receipt. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what did I get? I got the Dizzy Dancing in a 43. So, because they're not actually... Oh no! Maybe I did get the right box. Oh. Interesting. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna grab one of these out. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> I love that uh, yours you... is all like perfectly wrapped up still and mine are just sitting there. Because I didn't want to rewrap them. But look at these. Ooh. Look at how stunning these are. And actually it's got grip, unlike yours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Like literally... It's just, this is so stunning. The first thing that I'm going to do when I actually do a video of these, um, I'm going to do, pair this with my Black Milk Rainbow dress. Oh, yes. Black Milk Rainbow dress, stockings. Yeah. This, and then I just need, I've got my hat, I just need something else. I don't know what, though. Some accessories or something. Something rainbow. Hmm. Do I have anything rainbow? Oh my god, I'm offended. I'm offended. Oh, I've got something. I, I, I can work something out. How dare you? <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Like, I just love the detailing on this. Um, and I also love the fact that the shoelaces are, like, velvet. Mm. Like, just... Oh. It's nice because it's, like, it's a... It's a stiff velvet yeah. as well. Not... It, it doesn't look like it's going to undo itself. Yeah. And then even... Even that. It's got flowers around in it. And yeah, but unfortunately, no design on the sole of these ones because these are like actual boots. So I'm not complaining about them. I just realized it's got a little heart on it. Sorry. Oh, it does too. It's the, got a little heart. The ADHD getting to me. It's got a little heart on it. Like, that's so sick. I honestly love that so much. But no, you can definitely see the difference, by the way, in the aesthetics that we went for. Um, you went more dainty and elegant. I went. I'm. Rainbow vomit? Question mark. Mm. Eh. More dark. More like. More, more that darker, like. Aesthetic. Yeah, a bit of sweet aesthetic. Mmm. Yes. Yes. But yeah, no. I just I so I wanted the loafer ups because they had the similar color design in terms mm. of like it's like that rainbow effect and that. Unfortunately, I ended up with these, which I actually prefer these now over the loafer ups. Um, even though the loafer ups gave me like mad um what is it like schoolgirl vibes mm. like they just gave me like mad schoolgirl vibes and i was like oh yeah not 100 percent. but yeah but yeah on a scale of one to ten rate ev like the experience in that how would you rate that like shopping at the regular okay. choice bringing them back and so going in like kind of chronological order um shopping experience 10 out of 10 they were, like, the ladies in there were really nice. Like, they were really helpful. Like, the amount of shoes we pulled out as well. I kind of felt bad with how many, like, shoes. I was like, oh, do you have this one in this size? <laughs> and they kept going in, into the back and then coming out and then going into the back. And I'm like, oh, sorry. Um, but no, yeah, they were really sweet and helping find your size and such. And I really liked that they had little, like, as well, like, where you try your shoes on and such. They had, like, socks there for you. Mm. I think I forgot. I was wearing some sort of shoe where I didn't wear socks or something like you that. You were in boots though, weren't you? Wearing... You were in casual cosplay technically. I can't, I can't remember what I was wearing. Anywho, like, but I mean like in the sense of like they had the stocking socks where like if I oh, yeah, 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 wear, yeah. Wear, to wear normal socks with these that they would Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. That's hundred percent. Yeah, that's fair. But um, no, like the whole experience and the whole, the actual aesthetic of the shop as well is like really really pretty because when we went they had the scooby-doo collection as well because it's halloween mm, that was right that, they was, did too. that was really pretty so they had the whole halloween window display or like pre-halloween window display um insert the, video here <laughs> insert that video proves here. this um <laughs> uh and like the actual shop is really really pretty you now know why i go there like yeah. like so although my my maybe only thing is that it's a little out of the way from the city centre, so, like central uh, Melbourne. Yeah, no, 100%. That's, like, that's... We, we had to take a good train ride out to it. But it's but... worth the adventure if yeah. you've got the time as yeah, well, yeah, like yeah. when you like, think about it. Like, it's, we went for Tibbs and Bones, uh, a couple of vintage shops and that. We went to the bazaar, like the Melbourne bazaar that's there as mm -hmm. well. Um... And yeah, we just made a we just made a whole day out of it because like we're there for Mel for packs for a week and that, mm. and it's like may as well. Like. Yeah, like if I was only going down for a weekend, I think it's a little out of the way. Oh no, hundred percent. But like because we decided to go for well, we me and my partner decided to go for like 
uh, half a week where you stayed for a full week. Yeah, no. Like, it was worth taking the extra day to go out to Traveller Street and go and get gorgeous shoes and spend a lot of money. Sounds like a you problem. Um, it sounds like an after bay problem I had three weeks after coming back from Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, no, like, 100%. It's like the experience on that is worth it. And then just even the packaging for like any of the shoes is mm. just aesthetic, honestly. Even the Scooby Doo one. Mm. That like it's this as I said, the same it's concept so of it has a design on it. And it's like I honestly love it so much. And I just love the shoe shopping experience for irregular shoes anyhow, because they're very big on sizing. Mm. So I didn't notice that. Except for one pair which I'm still mad about, irregular choice. I love you. You know that I love Evolutions and I wanted that um, day and night um, Pokemon collab. Mm. And unfortunately, I could not ha wear that. You only went up to a 41. Although, I do like as well that they do... With their, like, lines, I noticed the Pokemon one, um, they do bags and, like, little accessories so your accessories can match your shoes. Yeah, no, literally. That was so cute. Like, yeah, they had, like, earrings and necklaces and I'm like... I had more money in my bank account, I probably would have bought all of those Pokemon earrings and necklaces so, and shit. <laughs> so, um, what was it? Yeah, no, okay, so the aerial heels that are up there that I have, my regular, my little twin stars ones that are there, um, and my Pokemon ones that I got in there. So they all came with accessories or a, a, a different type of accessory. Um, the little twin stars came with, uh, I've got a pair of stockings mm -hmm. that's, um, that's a collab from them. Um, and then I, the Little Mermaid one had a bag. Like, it had a really yeah, big yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you I know, that. like, it had that. And then the Pokemon one that I got had a matching mini bag with it as well. Ooh, cute. No, like, hang on. It's right there. I'll go get it. This is the bag oh, that I got matching. Good. Yeah. You're just like going out. Yeah, no. So cute. What the shit? Yeah, and then let me open this. Okay. Let me just clear that for a second. And inside. Oh, and it's this Pokemon. Yep. There's your there's your little strap. It's nice um On a random note, um, I'm so sad about the Pokemon anime with Ash. Oh! Spoiler <laughs> alert! <laughs> Sorry. Spoiler <laughs> alert! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Lawrence ADHD coming in. Um, random topic. But yeah, no, like that, like look at that. It's just so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, and very nice. It's got Jigglypuff. It's Jigglypuff, and it's got Sylveon on it. Oh, I love it. Jigglypuff is like one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. So, I bought that for that because I was like, look, buying a pair of shoes, maybe we'll get the little matching bag with it. Because if I do an outfit with it, I hundred percent want the bag. I don't want to mm. skimp out on it. Um. I wish that they did a little twin stars version of this or something, or like that would I would be really cute to match my heels. Yeah. But yes, no, like a regular choice, hundred percent is like a go-to for us. Like mm. we love it to death, like every single day now. And I think I've gotten you addicted now. Just a little. Yeah. But I, I want shoes where like your ones so you can wear more often. I think that would be really cool. I think that's my next per regular choice purchase is just shoes where I can wear it on like a day-to-day -day basis a day-to-day -day, like I'm going going out for dinner so I'm going to pop on some cute shoes type thing and be extra as all hell mm, yeah no 100% agree with that 100% agree with that all right I'm gonna we're gonna end the video here but thank you so much for coming on and actually um bringing your shoes out to come film with me um because yeah we don't live near each other um but I always like to film in my in this room because it's always like it just it's a vibe my room like everyone's seen stuff that I've got and I also wanted to try out this angle as well because like yeah this is a new filming angle that I'm that I'm doing um you've only ever seen me use this angle for when I try on like black milk and living dead and that um but yeah this time I wanted to do this so thank you for so much for coming on and thank you for journey journeying with me to um a regular choice thank you for taking me hopefully we can do it like for PAX next year as well yeah that's you know, gonna be fun so um yeah they messed when they when I messaged them they said they said um 
we can't wait to see you in the messages and I just went yeah, I've got to yeah. go now I kind of have no choice now in this matter so well that's like um what was it the week before PAX I was like showing Sierra and she's like oh I like those oh I like those so I was kind of like being like hey hey let's go let's go <laughs> no I'm glad that you all came and we all had a fun time with it no it was a fun day it was nice because it was like after the convention as well like yeah and we're not stressed no as well stress, like it tired as all hell yes but like ready to wind down the whole day like finish it finish it off with a bang and then yeah no because we did that we went to we went chapel to street and then later that night we went to fortress which oh my god that was so good never never shuts up about fortress though yeah <laughs> never no literally fortress is amazing though like mm. but yeah we're gonna end the video here thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope to see you all in the next video which actually funnily enough might be depending on when i get this uploaded and it'll still be us and we're going to talk about um basically a wrap-up of 2022 we're gonna we're gonna end it here bye everyone <laughs>